Hi. Hi, boys and girls. It's me. Yeah, it's me, Miss Veronica. Well, I'm hiding behind here because I don't want to scare you when I come from behind my mask. You promise you won't be afraid? All right, I'll show you my mask in five, four, three, two, one. Hi, boys and girls. It's just me. Yeah, Miss Veronica. I have to wear a mask because I have to stay safe. Just like you've been wearing your mask. Yeah, it's still me hiding in here. Yeah, you're not afraid of my mask? Oh, that makes me so happy. I was so nervous. I thought you were gonna be afraid. Wow, boys and girls, you're so brave. Well, yeah, it's just me. Well, I'm the only one down here right now, but Froggy was down here a little while ago, but he went upstairs so I can take my mask off now. Yeah, we have to wear the mask to stay safe when we go outside in public with a lot of people. Yeah, sometimes when you go around your family, you have to wear a mask too. It's okay, we all have to wear them. Jesus wants us to be safe, so we have to follow the rules of the governor in our states. Yeah, that's how we be safe, responsible, and respectful. We all have germs, but we don't need to share them all right now. So make sure when you cough, you cover your cough, <coughs> even if you have on a mask. And if you sneeze, cover your sneeze. <gasps> yeah, just like that. I have a book today that I'd like to read to you about mask. Would you like to read it? Okay, it's about germs too. This is the front of the book. It says special powers. This is the back of the book. This is the spine of the book. Let's give it a shake. Is that a good spine? Yeah, none of the pages fell out. The author's name, Whoa, boys and girls, this book came from the CDC. The CDC is where we have people who keep us safe to let us know how to stay safe when there's strange germ out there like COVID. Yeah, so let's take a finger walk and a look in our book. <laughs> it's titled Special Powers. Did you know you have special powers? This book is an aid to have meaningful conversations with children about their germs and our germs and how COVID made us all have to wear a mask. How important they are. Yeah. So now we all can be safe against germs. Help me turn the page. <clears throat> Do you know you have special powers? No? Well, you do. And you're not the only one. All around the world, there are everyday people just like you doing amazing things for one another. It just takes a little moment to stop and think with all of our hearts before we act. How can we be safe, responsible, and respectful to our neighbors? Whoa, look at those icky germs, boys and girls. This is the germ called COVID-19. It's kind of crown-shaped and it's very teeny. COVID-19 is the kind of coronavirus. It's smaller than anything you can see. Corona actually means crown and under a microscope. The virus even looks like a crown with spikes ending in little blobs. But it's not the kind of crown we want to wear, is it? No. 
Help me turn the page. How COVID-19 travels. Well, this virus travels through the air when people sneeze, Achoo! make sure you cover it up. And when you dance and you get in large crowds with people, and when you travel with lots of people, you breathe the germs in your nose. So make sure that your nose and mouth are covered. Achoo! We've been practicing. COVID-19 can also stick to counters and doors and surfaces. Someone with the sickness might not even know that they have it and forget to cover their mouth and nose and then touch the door handle or a handrail. Sometimes it can stay on there for a while. That's why you might see the grownups in your life cleaning everything. We wash our hands too. Wash your hands, that's what we do. Careful about what we touch and always keep our hands clean. We wash our hands to the ABCs. So let's practice that boys and girls. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, yeah. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Get those nails. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now you rinse your hands off. Yeah, and you get a paper towel to dry your hands and use that same paper towel to turn off the water. Yeah, and throw it away. <laughs> yeah. Let's finish our book, boys and girls. Help me turn the page. Mm -hmm. How does COVID-19 make you feel? Well, it makes people feel lots of icky, icky, icky. They get fevers and they get the chills and breathing is hard. They have a sore throat and they can't taste or smell anything. They have a runny nose too, boys and girls. So the doctors have to wear masks too. Some people can't be around sick people at all. So they have to go to a grandmother's house, especially boys and girls if mom and dad are sick. The fact is, hmm, COVID is a very mild sickness. That's how it starts off. But over time, it gets a little worse. Yeah, that's why we have to go to the doctor, boys and girls. And that's why we all have to wear our mask. If a person's already sick, sometimes, they get sicker if they don't get the help they need. Parents, what do you think you'll do if someone feels sick? If anyone in your family feels like this, the first thing you should do is call your doctor and get a test. Help me turn the page. To stay safe using your special powers. Wear a mask, cover your nose and mouth, cough and sneeze in your sleeve. Clean and disinfect surfaces. That means wash things off and wash your hands to the ABCs. Try not to touch your eyes, nose, or even your mouth. Keep your hands clean by washing twice, no doubt. Keep six feet apart, my friends, especially if you know someone is sick. Stay at home and don't go in large crowds if you're not feeling well. We don't want to spread sicknesses. God wants us to use our manners and be responsible and follow the safety guidelines. If you're feeling sick, please stay home. I wonder what else we can do if we feel sick. Stay home when possible. We know that. Oh, 
Oh, we can talk to our friends and play online. We don't share toys with other boys and girls who are in our house. How can your family stay safe together? Well, boys and girls, the best way to stay safe is to talk with everybody in the house about how your family is going to wear masks and when you go out and some people wear them in the home, especially if someone has a little cold, remember to wash our hands, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, especially if we go outside or to the bathroom and wear our face coverings, boys and girls, we can do it. If someone in your family is sick, they might have to stay at the hospital and to keep everyone else safe and it's okay. Sometimes even pets get sick, boys and girls. Wonder what we can do besides wear our face coverings, wash our hands and stay six feet apart. Remembering your special powers when you're outside the house, when you're ex taking money from someone at the store or they're giving you money, your shopping carts, your door handles, all those things need to be wiped off. You'll see the grocery store clerk wiping those off for you. Before leaving the house, you might wanna bring a little sanitizer and a face covering just to stay extra safe. Help me turn the page. Wow, look at all the people in the taxis. The taxis also have to wipe the door handles and the seats down when people go for a ride. Always wear a face covering when you have to go outside, especially if you're taking the bus, boys and girls. Help me turn the page. A special time with family when you definitely do not need a face covering is when you're eating meals together. Yeah, that's our special time with our family. I don't wear family in the house when I'm at home with my family, but if we leave the house, we definitely are responsible for wearing one. When you live with people in your home, everyone at home can work together to keep the germs and bugs away when we keep healthy conscious, talk to the neighbors from a safe distance, try not to share personal items like phones or um, bedding, toothbrushes or clothes. Play with others within our six feet distance. Only share toys if you know they have been cleaned, boys and girls. Help me turn the page. Mm -mm. The best tools we have are our special powers. Yeah, boys and girls. And I have a special power too. So I use my mask like this young man, but I also use my faith. Yeah, I use my faith to pray to God to help me and my family stay safe. So I just say this little prayer. If you wanna say it with me, come on, no problem. <laughs> I put my hands together and I say, dear Lord Jesus, please forgive me of all my sins and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Lord, your word tells us that with your stripes, we are healed. So we believe we receive our healing Lord and we act like it. Your word teaches us to confess our sins and you are faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Stand up, go forth and sin no more. Lord, we give you glory, honor and praise and we say thank you for your blood. We say thank you for healing us from the top of our head to the soles of our feet. We are blessed and highly favored and we thank you, Lord Jesus. The blood of Jesus is on us and everyone that's watching this video. Lord, I give you glory, honor, and praise. In your name, Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. And by your blood, amen. All right, my friends. Well, thank you so much for watching the video with me. Remember to stay safe out there. And Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.